watching a lot of Charles Dowding's uh, horticulture no dig videos on YouTube and I've decided since Hugel culture was a complete failure I would try his no dig composting gardening so I've created a compost bin and I'm doing a mix of green and brown and I'm securing it the front with these curry tin and this one I did about two weeks ago I filled it up with green and brown and horse manure into laced and it's now running at nearly 55 degrees in the middle of the compost pile it was nearly 60 earlier in the week but it was one degree overnight so uh, that's uh, the new compost area and one of our neighbors has been kind enough to chop down some pine trees providing us with basically an endless amount of nice mulch which i'm going to make a big pile here that can be used for the compost bins as required. That's what I'm doing today. Okay, chicken escaping. They free range around the whole backyard. They love it. Behind the shed here, got our 2,200 litre water tank and hidden behind that are the new compost bins. This afternoon I need to fill that one up, move the white pipe, put a bend up there so that it can come down here out of the way, put on some horse manure into this one now that it's got a fair bit of green in there and add some wood chips and hopefully that'll uh, start and then when, when that one's about two months, three months I'll put it all into the middle one and same with this one, I'll move that all into the middle one and that'll sort of turn it over as well. And hopefully um, we'll have some good compost in about six to eight months, ready for topping up all the garden beds for the summer. Just to show you, I'll just show you this thermostat, temperature gauge for the compost bin. It's um, so Charles Dowding using them. They're a 50 centimetre probe to go down into, into your compost and measure the temperature. Get them on eBay for about $15. They're really good. This one was just sitting at about 55, 60 degrees, which is nice. Might need to put a little bit more water on it to heat it up even more. And this is my pile of compost that I've managed to gather today. Oh, not compost, wood chips, pine chips. Oh, chicken's found it already. Hopefully that'll uh, break down while it's sitting there, but that's to add. I'll add some on top of there, on top of the greens when I'm done to help break it all down.
layer of green and horse manure and wood chips over the top and some plastic on the top of that and that should fill that one up and it can start decomposing and be ready to move into the middle one the girls are not very happy with me I've been I've had the top gate open so I'm on my last load so I've just finished shutting the top gate so I could get in that easy it was all locked up it's time to free the chickens. We can go and feed till their heart's content. I've given them a bit of food and uh, we have a, a, an additional couple of Join the, join the party. The male is very tame. The female's a bit more concerned. But they come up each day for a feed as well. Little black ducks.
we'll do a bit of tour, a bit of a tour of the garden beds. So I've put these frames around them all now with this fine mesh sparrow wire to keep out the rats because they pretty much destroyed my entire summer crop. They're eating all the plants. So in here we've got some basil still going, some spring onions and some cauliflowers. A bit of California poppy still going, hanging on there. Chicken. In here we've got some potatoes. Three lots of potatoes. Again, big cage with the fine mesh. I'm hoping that fine mesh will keep out the um, cabbage moths as well. A bit of rosemary. Lime and a mandarin over there. In here we've got peas and beans that I've planted for the winter crop. End of autumn here. And here we've got, hang on, I'll just open it up. So these are all on hinges so you can get in easily. Keep the chickens out as well. Got radishes and snow peas. And beans over the back there but they haven't come up yet over here we've got an example of no dig all I've done is added three centimeters of compost there and put in turnips got a bit of coriander and some peas as well some carrots, some parsnips in there, so hopefully they come up. Some celery and some kalorobi in here. This I haven't put topped up there, but I did there. In the big bed, here we've got a bunch of broccoli. We'll need to thin that out soon. And again, put these frames around it all so that you can just open it up, get into it to work on it, harvest, etc. And when these are all done, all I'll do is add some, well, hopefully my compost will be ready by then. I'll just add another three, four centimeters of compost on top of this and plant again. In here, some broccoli and asparagus. I haven't seen much of the asparagus. I put them in seed, so might have to try that again in pots in a hot house or something. Some onions here. They're just sort of coming up now. Not much going on in there. And some more onions in here. Again, all the fine mesh. Keep the, the critters out. Down here, next to the outdoor kitchen, we've got some chives and beetroot. And a bit earlier than those ones, in here, just open it up. In here, we've got beetroot. Now that one's probably almost ready to come out, not quite. These were put in a bit earlier than the last ones. And up here, we've actually got some nice capsicums. Now that I can keep the critters off them, they're actually going well. All the, all the ones prior to the, the fence going around them got eaten by rats or grubs or something. Most likely rats chewed into the top and then the grubs got in. We're finally getting some capsicums that are looking pretty good. is going well still clear as a nice mountain stream ducks are loving it managed to propagate a couple of extra lilies here which I'm 
pretty happy about. All the fish and the turtles have gone to sleep. And the biofilter, sorry, the biofilter, biofilter's working well. I've put some temporary timber on the front of this one to just to get it going. Half full. This one's already gone down, I reckon about 10 centimetres, sunk down. But that's the plan. Fill them up with green, brown horse manure. After two, three months, turn them all over into the middle one. Another three months, four months, and hopefully they'll be ready for putting on the garden beds. Oh well. See how it goes.